think? Are you giving the, the edge to Malik? Well, let's just get to the lineups before we talk on that. Uh, it's uh, Woodley, Mal Malachi Woodley, Jalon Matthews, Jordan Ferdinand, Omarion Worrell, Keston Singh, Jeremiah Gabriel, uh, Josante Duncan, Ronaldinho Richards, Uba Samuel, Keston Richards, and Tyrese uh, Manswell. That is the Malik team, the coach, Anthony Bartholomew. And uh, we're going to have a quick look at the Trinity East lineup. And they with uh, Jaden Pollard, uh, Nicholas Whiteman, Dexter Krull, Hashim Hill, Deshaun, Deshaun Plaza, Joshua Figaro, Anderson Barnwell, Jeremiah Frank Williams, Kaleem Prince, Josiah Daniel, and Seretsi Brown. And the coach is Dwayne Davis. So those have been a really wonderful game. Uh, between these two teams, it could have gone either way. But let's have a look at the highlights. And Trinity Colleges did start the better of the teams. Brown having a shot. And eventually Figaro, he had a very good game. Uh, in fact, he was one of the two we thought uh, in contention for man of the match. But then Matthews with a shot should have done better. The ball played through to Samuel. Hit it over the bar. His control again, Samuel winning the ball here and just couldn't put it away. Start of the second half. Ball played through to Manswell and what a finish. What a really wonderful finish from him. Took that ball on his right foot, put it on the left and banged it home. And just like that, Malik, Took the lead, one goal to nil. Put the shades on, you're in front. So there is the celebration, and but a corner. And you could have seen the corners from uh, Trinity College East was causing a lot of problems. And then the ball was played through to Plaza. What a good run, cut inside. Played it into the part of Frank Williams, bang! Into the back of the net. One all. Game on. And Trinity College East. They were not finished yet. Because they came from behind. The supporters were in deadly. Corner from Plaza. And look at the jump from Figaro. What a good jump. He timed it to perfection. Got up and glided it into the, the back of the net. Goalkeeper had no chance. And Trinity College East. Coming from one goal down. All of a sudden. They were in front by two to one. Then it's the free kick. Chipped in with the header, but straight to the keeper. And the referee indicating that the end of the game and at the end of it, two goals to one. Let's have a quick look at the stats. 15 shots from Trinity Colleges as opposed to 11 from Malik. Both teams with five shots on target, 14 fouls by Trinity Colleges to four from Malik, one yellow card and no reds, one offside for Trinity Colleges and four for Malik and one of them, of course, with that equalizer that did not count. Six corners apiece, four saves to three. Possession in favor of Trinity College is by 60 to 40. And so Trinity College... Yes. So Trinity College is uh, winning here against Malik by two goals to one. We want to say good night to the uh, viewers on uh, TV6. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage. So it's. So let's go down to Hans Devines and see who he has with him. Thank you very much, Colin Murray, man of the match, Deshaun Plaza, the first win of the season for Trinity College East, contributed two assists and obviously worked very hard on the field. How important was today for you? Today it was a very important booster for our team, you know. We didn't get a win for the season, we come out, we fight our hardest, we beat them on fitness, we beat them at every aspect in the game and we come out with a victory. So moving forward against Sawa North, an unbeaten team, what is the strategy for you personally? For me personally, watching the games, the, the wing backs are not as strong. We could kill them in the midfield and we'll beat them. All right. Well, for you, what else can we expect for the rest of the season? What is your plan? My plan? Just to contribute as much as possible and score as much goals. Help the team as much as I can. 
and we look forward to greatness from you the sean plaza these are the goals that you assisted looking at them what was going through your mind and looking back at them what thoughts do you have looking back at them you know it's just a surreal moment come out they told us we raised our head before we pass and that's exactly what we did and we come out with the victory all right, thank you very much and congratulations to Sean Plaza, our man of the match for today. Brent Sancho has the coaches with him, so let's hear what the coaches have to say today after this matchup. Coach, of course, uh, at the end of the 90 minutes plus, a disappointing result uh, coming your way. Your assessment of the 90 minutes? Uh, basically, we didn't take our chances in front of goal, and that has been something that has killed us in the last three games. But I can guarantee going forward that we will make the changes that need to be changed to improve on that. Well, you've had uh, your problems from the injury perspective. Of course, uh, your two important players in the defense missing. Mm -hmm. Meant Woodley had to play, uh, I would call, uh, a false defender, Correct. Uh, for lack of a better word. But certainly, it impacted the middle of the park. Uh, your assessment of that area of the field? Uh, Malachi is someone with experience, so we had faith in him. Overall, we have a, a good 20-man squad that can do the job. But um, we have cover all around, so I have no worry there. But I have a problem with my uh, strikers. So we need to fix that in order if we if, if we had to, to go any further and place higher up on the table this season. Thank you very much, Coach. All the best to you in the rest of the season. Thank you. Of course, uh, Coach uh, Davis, uh, a happy man, a smiling man. Uh, you've won your first game for the season. A credit to you and your team. But more importantly, what was your game plan going into this fixture? Well, the game plan today was to continue doing what we were doing all the previous games, we felt we were a bit unlucky into in front of goal, throwing away a, a bunch of chances. So our goal today was to try and take the chances and try and get the victory that we deserve. Well, you talked about the chances and, of course, the quality in the play, but one of the things that stood out today was your team effort uh, throughout the 90 minutes plus. You must be a proud man because that's something that sometimes lacks in games. Uh, your assessment of the effort throughout the 90 minutes and the squad and what they showed today in front of our cameras. Yeah, the effort was, was brilliant today. Um, I think the guys were really pumped up um, because, as I say, they, they were confident in what they were doing. They were confident in the play and they, they thought they were just lacking in, in one area, which was energy. So we... we had a good discussion, a good training session yesterday and they came out and handled the business well today. You think this is a result, of course, to change the course of the season moving forward? I definitely think so. Um, as I said, we weren't playing badly. So we, we're getting goals and I think once we start getting any goals, we'll be okay. Thank you very much, Coach. All the best. Thanks.